said that, oh, he didn't have an editor. Yes, I had several editors. Because I didn't have to pay them, now, that doesn't mean they're not editors. One works, uh, has worked for five years as an editor of our local paper here. You don't know shit about me or my work, which is real work. Here's the other thing that annoys me. Okay, I told you, first book, very thin, I told you that. You can almost show you with it, I told you that. This book is 100, 130 pages, right? When you look up Jay Wilson's book, it is 101 pages. That includes the title page, that includes the blank pages they put in the book, that includes title pages, that includes the index, everything comes to 100 pages. So let's say you got a book, 97 pages. So I say this was a thin book. It's my first one, my first project. I ain't ashamed of it. The, the story is what's powerful, not how, how many pages it is. This is what he's trying to convince you people. This is this is the book Jay Wilson is writing. 97 pages. And let's even got the cover. Let's get the cover out of the way. 97 pages. It's a pamphlet. It's not a book. You've written a pamphlet. You keep trying to justify this editor thing. We already talked about the goddamn editor. We assume everybody who writes a book has an editor of some sort. No one ever said that they were editing their own book. No one does that. Here's the clincher. Just now, I got off television. Just like I did before, I, when I turn my YouTube on, I turn it on, it plays them right after another, right? So it can run for hours, just one video after another. This one, I, I, when I get it, he's picking apart Sean, Sean Bradley's petition. Sean, I don't know if it started with 5A, but what, what the, those, they were both in cahoots with this petition. They're circulating, right? I read the petition. Seems great. We're going for the content. He's going for the punctuation mark. Oh, no, I can't read that. Ooh, my eyes. Ooh, it's got a punctuation mark. Bragging on what somebody else is going to do, not what he's going to do. There's nothing wrong with them. Are they able to, co to communicate what they're trying to communicate? This child is comparing somebody writing a one-page petition about him writing this bogus-ass book, which is just information you could get out the fucking phone book. Should I be popping off about this? Jay Wilson, there are several things that, that irritate me about you. I came to know you because when I was sick in the hospital, you prayed for me. Now, that's my fault because I'm assuming that you are praying for me for a good reason. I didn't realize you were attaching yourself to me. You just did it for clicks and views, like you do everything else. It's just clicks and views. So I don't owe you any alliance or any loyalty. I don't like the way you're constantly putting other people down. I do not like that, and particularly when it comes to writing the book. You know what I mean? I spent years on my second book. Three and a half years to put that book together. It wasn't a pamphlet you can do in a couple of months. And you have the nerve to criticize me. My work, my work, or you've never even seen, never even read. A few months ago, I made my book free. Put it online. You didn't even read that. You don't read nothing. You just criticize and criticize and criticize and try to pretend that your, what something you're doing is superior to what something else is doing. Make it a pamphlet about a, some academic thing about getting into school. That ain't a book. That is not writing, honey. That ain't like a novel. Nothing creative in it. And then you're going, all the credit you're taking, you're taking from somebody else about how you paid this, this editor. This editor seems like he is the goddamn king of, Sh of Sheba or some damn body. They're the ones that you're bragging about, not you. You can go and get, you claim three and four and five degrees and you can't even put together a goddamn booklet. We can all assume somebody's going to edit the goddamn thing. You went to college, you went to school, several schools. You don't have one person that, that is capable of editing a book where they got to have a, their name editor before them or you feel like you, you have to pay them in order for them to be an editor. My aunt taught school, literature, lit, and English over 30 years. She's not qualified to edit, edit a book, a first-time book of mine. So what, if she charged me for it, would that make a difference? That's the only difference I see. You give them the same credentials as, as I gave with her. 
You don't know a goddamn thing. I don't want you talking about my writing. I'm telling you now, step off. Go away. Writing fiction. Creating something out of nothing. That is work. That is real creative work. I don't know who in the hell you pumping this book to. We are all grown folk on here, right? How many damn damn teenagers you see on, 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 on these channels here? Anybody? Majority of these people, their kids are already past school age. I don't know who in the hell you're promoting to, but you should be promoting to the people who you intend to buy the damn book, not us. But of course you want the people on here to pay for all this. And you want to keep convincing these people that th you have to have thousands of dollars to edit that much paper. Thousands of dollars. What the hell are they charging you? $100 a page? It's nothing. To go on here and criticize, I guess it's another person. I don't even say the other person's name no more. I'm done.